Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and this is the new tutorial showing you how to install a Google font locally on your computer and use it on your server when you publish your website built in Blocks. So let's open one of the templates I have, something simple, example passion. And uh, this tutorial, well, this template I think uses the, well, this is the old one. Let's actually use the new one i think this one will be better okay so i believe this template uses uses poppins font and if we go to class manager we can check that it is it is a google font you can see this is g and what we want to do in this video is to download this Poppins font from Google and install it on our computer and use it as a local font. So to do that, there are many ways to download the font. And let me show you a couple of ways. So I will close this for now. So there are, well, first of all, let's go to fontsgoogle.com com and we will search for poppins poppins and after that well after that we can select which styles we want to have on our website you can have just regular or italic so i will use i think for the passion template i use three fonts i have a uh, Poppins regular, regular is 400 weight, Poppins 300 and Poppins 600. And I don't have any italic one, so this is just the 300 light. We will add them like, like, like this, regular 400. And for 600, we will use this, this is semi bold 600 regular not italic so light regular and semi bold 300 400 600 this is the fonts i want to use on my website and well of course if we want to install it from google fonts directly to blogs we would copy this this code as i showed in many other tutorials but today we want to download it so when we click download it will download and this is what we get you can see, well, we actually downloaded, it downloads all of the fonts, all of the options when we click download. And well, I don't need all of them. So let me just select the ones I will use. So I will use thin, well, regular and semi bold. Semi bold like that. Regular, thin, semi bold, maybe light instead of thin. So light, regular, and semi-bold. Three fonts I would like to use on my project. And I can already install these to blocks, but these are not web-optimized fonts. These are TTF, which are fine. We can use them in blocks right away, and they will be loaded and showed on our computer, on our web server as well. But we want to optimize them for web first. Now, if you don't want to go through all of this process, so downloading the Google phones in original TTF quality, then converting them to the web optimized phones, which we will do in a second, you can go to Google and go to Google web font helper, helper. And this website kind of allows you to download the optimized versions right away without, well, without doing the extra steps, which I want to show you in this video, but if you don't want to, you can just go to this website, search for Poppins, select the font options you would like to use. So 300, 400, regular, and 600. And we can download it. And from here, yeah, it downloads only the ones I selected. And as you can see, it downloads five versions right away. TTF, the one we got from the Google. 
And as you can see, it is much better. It is just 60 kilo, 16 kilobytes compared to 160 for the original one we downloaded from the Google. So I will be using these ones for my, for my project, but just wanted to show you that if you want to convert TTF to web font, let's say, there are many, many websites which allow you to upload your TTF or whatever it is you have. Let me drag this one on our desktop. And from desktop, we can select this, upload, and we can convert it to a web font, web font, the new version, and a lot of other options here. If you select this one, for example, let's say the second version, convert, and it will be quickly processed and you can download and it, it is only 50 kilobytes now, you can see. So let's take these fonts and install them to blocks to do that. Let's go to blocks. Let's go to preferences, manage fonts. And instead of Google web fonts, we will go to local web fonts. We will select the folder. This is the fonts and it will install the three fonts. We just put there light, regular and semi bold. Okay, now we need to close our project, close blocks, open it again. And now if we go to class editor, we can open the, the class editor for the first class here in class manager. And as you can see, in addition to the three Google fonts, we now have three regular fonts so we can obviously change it from here and as you can see it will be applied and this is the h1 h2 h3 well the first class we have in the class manager this is basically for all text on your website almost all text on your website unless you specify differently in the separate classes so what we will do i want to disable the google fonts altogether so i will go to the typography tab and project settings and I will uncheck the enable Google fonts option. And now when I open the font uh, typeface option in the class editor, you can see it only shows me the installed ones on my computer. So you don't need to scroll through all of the fonts you don't really need to have there. So we will select the Poppins regular for the first class for the global text uh, font and then we will go through each of the classes and we will select the font we want so as you can see for p the paragraph we don't want to change anything we just want to use the poppins and even though this says helvetica it is not helvetica i, I wish blocks would choose uh, will show the proper font here because helvetica is basically what it shows by default and if you want to specify it, you can change it to something different. But if you change the font in the first class, this one, to Poppins, the P, the paragraph, which is also included in the first class, as you can see, it's, it has P here. This is actually not Helvetica anymore. This is Poppins, but for some reason, Blocks keeps showing the Helvetica here. This is how it is. And I guess you just need to get used to it. So. A is for links. Right now I only have the bold, but now instead of bold, we will go to Poppins semi bold and make it bold like that. For H1, we had the bold. We will disable that and instead we will go to the Poppins semi bold like that because we don't want to have the semi bold font and then on top of it bold again you can see it, it's not getting bolder it's just getting wider and it is not very good so all you need to do is just select the typer face and in this case as you can see it is semi bold already so we don't need to change the weight and all you need to do is to quickly go through each of the classes you have in class manager and change it to what you need
So h3, we don't have anything, so it will be regular, h4, regular, okay. And as you can see, not all of the classes obviously are related to text. Not every class will be adjusting the text, right? So let's go to button. You can see button is using bold. So we will disable that and select the Poppins semi bold. I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I have. Okay, so this is text gradient. I have somewhere the text, which is I think this one. So I don't have 700 now. I will go to Poppins semi bold. As you can see, it looks much better. And basically, I'm looking at the weight and size and type of face. This is what I need to look at. Uh, everything else is not that important. So it was Poppins Google Fonts and it was set to bold. So we will disable the bold and just go to Poppins semi bold. This is for alerts, for the form, I believe. So this is for the Helvetica, uh, for the footer link. So Helvetica will be replaced by Poppins, of course. We will just disable the regular weight because it is okay. So it was regular because it was it was normal because we don't we didn't want to have the bold links there as I understand. So if we want to have it regular now, it means we will have to select the poppins regular like this. Yep, yeah, like that. So we have if you have a lot of custom classes, obviously this is not not very very cool at first. You, you will have to spend a few minutes uh, keeping everything clean and tidy. But actually, this is a good practice to make sure you don't overuse classes because having too much cla too many classes is not good. I don't use too many classes. And as you can see in this project, this is actually on, I think, one of the biggest ones. As you can see, I have maybe like 30 or something classes here maybe one third of them is using the fonts. So that's basically it. Right now, this website is not using any Google fonts anymore. Every font there is right now is used by the local font. And if we go to the, okay, you can see that there are a few things we still need to change. For example, the form, the font inside form, is not available in class in the class editor so we need to select the i think it was form control yeah form control and right now it, it is set to use the poppins 300 i don't know why i missed it it actually it was actually there so let's get to poppins light it is not regular like that so i think now it will be it will be properly shown. Okay, so I think that's it. Just to make sure it works, let's go and export this project. We'll export this project to the desktop. And let's take a look at the files we have. So right now we have this fonts folder, and these are for the uh, icons and we have we actually have only two we don't use any light or version anywhere so we have the regular and semi bold these are fully optimized of course and will be loaded i think the by default this one will be loaded most of the time the w o f f2 but sometimes on some uh, from some websites some some web browsers which are not supporting this one will probably load something different. And that's it, basically. Uh, thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. I'm sick at the moment. Have I think it's cold or it maybe even COVID. I don't know. It feels like COVID last time I had it was the same. So I don't really feel very well, but I wanted to make this as soon as possible because I've got like three or five people asking for for this, installing Google Fonts locally on your computer and avoiding the new, I mean, following the new rules, especially in the EU, I believe, which kind of prohibit you from using the Google Fonts on your websites. Anyway, I have a lot of tutorials coming soon in September. 
So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already.